Dear viewers, Namaskar. We wish you all happy Eid ul fitr Welcome to this edition of News Bulletin in the headlines today. Contract workers felicitated for commendable performance at Co-Coven's Department of Sale RSP. Thirty-two youth from Sale RSP CSR's Direct Impact Zone sponsored for livelihood enhancement skills. And Eid ul fitr celebrated with religious fervor. Now the news in details. Five contract workers engaged in the coke oven area of Sale Rolkla Steel Plant were felicitated for their commendable performance in the field of housekeeping. In a function held in the department, Mr. Tularam Behera, CGM, CEO and CC handed over the token gift of appreciation to the contract workers comprising four female and one male person. Present on the occasion were Mr. K. Srinivasulu, GMCO, Mr. S. Singh, GMCO, other senior officers and employees of the department. The contract workers were awarded for cleaning and lifting of great heaps of accumulated debris and scrap from the emergency control room and battery area of Cocoven department and further beautifying it by necessary masonry job, painting and whitewashing. The job was supervised by the employees, namely Mr. Dama Baru Dhar Ekka and Mr. Shubhash Panda. The program was coordinated by Mr. Jhasaketan Mishra, Master Operator CEO, while Mr. A. Kumar, Assistant Manager Personal, proposed a formal vote of thanks. 32 youth from Sale Rolkla Steel Plant, CSR Direct Impact Zone, have been sponsored for the Trades Assistant Electrician and Assistant Beautician courses at Livelihood Business Incubation Center, Sector 15. Mr. Ajay Kumar Nayak, CGMTA and CSR, and Ms. Munmun Mitra, GMCSR, were present at the opening ceremony. The center is operational under the National Small Industries Corporation Limited, a Government of India enterprise and a mini Ratna government agency established by the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Government of India, 1955. Each of the courses are of two months duration with 50 working days. The trade of assistant beautician is exclusively for women and girl candidates. This is a special pilot initiative wherein NSIC proposes to extend its training facility to train the socio-economically underprivileged candidates as a special prerogative who would be the beneficiaries identified by RSP. The total cost incurred for this vocational training is approximately Rs 5 lakhs. Notably, Livelihood Business Incubation Center, Rorkala, under NSIC was established and made operational by the 2020-21 with the CSR support of SAIL RSP for the promotion of skills of the local tribal youth and for facilitating the growth of small enterprises. The unit is equipped with wide range of training units like bakery, welding, woodworking, electrician, computer hardware and networking, etc. It may be mentioned that the normal batches at LBI are identified and trained by NSIC independently from all economic strata for the ST community free of charge. The festival of Eid ul fitr was celebrated throughout Rorkala with religious fervor. A congregation prayer was organized at Sector 15 ground in the morning to mark the occasion. Celebrations were also organized in different mosques across the city. Eid ul fitr is the festival of breaking the fast. It marks the end of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month of fasting where people involve themselves with pious activities, charitable deeds, forgiveness and peacemaking. It celebrates the conclusion of one month of dawn to sunset fasting. It falls on the first day of Shawwal, the month which follows Ramadan in Islamic calendar. This is marked by expressing gratitude to Allah and remembering Him in mass prayers conducted in open field and large halls. That's all from our news yesterday. Namaskar.